some advice. Yeah? Do you think I should just ask him out? Well, advice comes at a price. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Hi. Hey, do you have time for a coffee? I want to talk to you about something. I've got to sort out this course changing thing. It wouldn't take a minute. A minute later? I've got to go, guys. I'll see you later. Okay, don't forget out, you know? I'm doing it now. So, where were you last night? I went to this rave party with Savita and I ended up staying at her place because it was easier, so. Right. What? No, I was just, I was trying to call you and I was all by myself. I thought you wanted me to be more independent. I do. I, I just wish you'd tell me when you're planning to be more independent. <laughs> so we'll meet later. Okay. Okay. Alright. Bye. Bye. Hey, do you want to come to the bank with me? Professor Leach? Yes. system. Well, there must be something wrong with your computer. It's adding extra digits. I don't think so. I can't find that sort of money. Isn't there some other way? That's your problem, not mine. I can't enrol you until that fine is paid. But it's the last day I can change. Well, you've left it till the last minute, but that's the only way you can do anything about it. OK, can't I just put the paperwork through now and I'll pay the fine on Monday? Come on. Come on. Please. Have a heart. Hello, student administration. Can I help you? Just a moment, well, have you spoken to the I'll be off then. Going to go slip my wrists. Yeah, yes. 
one and one by a plane boy did. It's him. What? The guy I told you about. What guy? Mia. Oh, hi, Ari. Um, how's things? Cool. Do you two know each other? Uh, Ari, Alice, Alice, Ari. Alice, nice to meet you. Can I get you something? Strong flat white, no froth, thanks. So how's it going? Oh, don't ask. I'll be forced to bore you to death with details of my tortured existence. Yeah, is an all existence. God, I hope not. Hey, have you heard we're having a party? Yeah. Hey, it's a housewarming party, but we're still looking for our last housemate. You're not looking for some really groovy place to live, are you? Not today, Mia. That's a pity, because we're really desperate. Thanks. I'll check you guys tonight. Oh, Alice, you don't have a crush on Ari. He's like the Warren Beatty of the campus. Everybody wants to bonk him. I think he's nice. Alice, don't waste your time. Well, what about the advice from this morning? What have you got to lose? Just ask him out. Ari makes advice like that null and void. Oh, but Mia... Alice, why can't you find some nice down-to-earth boy? Because I want that one. Is he left-handed? I thought you said my criteria were too difficult. Oh, Alice. I just meant loosen up a little, not lose sight of what's important to you. Danny, hi, you wouldn't happen to have $663 on you, would you? Yeah, I do, actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. What? Hang on, did you say yes? Yeah, I'm going to buy this cello this afternoon. I need some advice, so... What cello? You've got a cello. What do you need another cello for? It was burned for fire by my delinquent brother. Oh, right, yeah, I remember. Sorry, just a temporary lapse into amnesia caused by my present dire financial situation. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I promise I'll pay it all back. No, no, no. No. Uh, couldn't you just wait a bit? Well, what about my cello? Well, you could use mine. Uh, I've lined up this deal with this guy Danny, today. it's and really so important to me. I can't. Anyway, um, just let go. I don't even know if you care about me anymore. Danny, I care about you more than anything. Well, then can we have lunch? Um, I was just thinking that, yes. Is Rumbarella's OK? OK. One o'clock? One o'clock. OK. Classics. Classics, wow. I bet you're really brainy and deep and read Socrates when you're relaxing. I suppose your parents are in publishing or academia and you all speak ancient Greek around the table. Well, stop me if I make a complete idiot of myself. No, you're cute. Anyway, that about sums me up. So tell me more about your thesis. Oh, it's all a bit dull, really. No, it sounds interesting. Classics sounds interesting. What do you do with a degree in classics? What do you do with a thesis on Doris Day? Oh, shit. What's wrong? What are you doing? It's my supervisor. Isn't he sweet? This is third birthday next week. He's lovely. Sorry about this. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, just need you to sign this form. Certainly. Why, Mia? Are you not happy? Oh, I'm very happy. It's just personal reasons. I wish you'd tell me. I'd like to think that we were friends. Uh, I can't. Mia, yeah, this is not a decision to be taken lightly. I mean, you can't expect to go willy-nilly from one department to the next. Well, I'm sure I'm making the right decision. And if you do change, I, for one, would take a very dim view of you ever returning. Well, I have no intention of, um... I mean, um... I'm, I'm sure I'm making the right move, so... I see. I see. You haven't exactly been a model student whilst you've been with us, have you now? Your essays have been constantly late. Your class attendance has been dreadful. Oh, perhaps you do belong in some other department. Here, I won't sign it until the head of that, that other department signs it. Let's see whether they'll stoop low enough before I set you free. Fine. I just had to finish that pencil. 
So, is that fine then? I can join the department? Sure, no problems. We're happy to have you. Great. Well, you completed all the necessary prerequisite subjects. I'm sure I have. Good. So, what was it you wanted from me again? Uh, just a signature so I can join your department. All oh, right. Look, I'm sorry. I can't do anything for you until Professor Leach releases you from his department. Absolutely not. No way. Go back and tell her that if she wants you, she has to sign first. She knows that those are the rules. Will you please sign this form? No. Please. No. Please. No. Please. Not until she signs first. And don't forget my lecture. You're still in this department. <laughs> 